Hello my friends, welcome to this new reading vlog. Thank you so much for wanting to spend some time with me. I hope you enjoy your stay. I hope you're comfy. I hope you have your snacks of choice, maybe a little bit of coffee, a little bit of tea. We're going to be spending a lot of time together today, hopefully, fingers crossed. And yeah, I'm just really excited for this reading vlog. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've just sat down and talked to you guys about the books that I'm reading and how I'm doing. And yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. Why don't we begin this reading vlog with some reading updates? Because yes, I have some, I have been reading. Let's take a quick look at the books that I have been reading. Look at them all. I mean, one book is the same, just in its English version, but yeah, so why don't we discuss? The book that I've been reading for the longest time is The Collected Works of Khalil Gibran. Um, yeah, I started this early April and I've read a considerable amount. I think I'm halfway through. I'd like to say I'm in page 339. It's definitely been an interesting read so far. There are some chapters that I enjoy more than others or like some stories that I enjoy more than others, but overall I really like the way that this author thinks and the way that he discusses different things and different subjects and just the way that he feels <laughs> and the way that he talks about emotions is very inspiring and very heartwarming in a way so i've been enjoying my time reading this but it's definitely a slow read it's one of those books that i just have on my nightstand and if i'm ever in the mood to read before going to bed i just read a couple of pages i'm not even sure if i'm going to be finishing this one in the month of may but i'm definitely going to be doing some progress so yeah khalil gibran the dudest of dudes we love to see it the next book is very very exciting some of you may recognize this book because i've been talking about how intimidated i've felt by this book and i actually did say in my 23 books to read in 2023 that this was the year that i was finally going to tackle Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I didn't know that I was going to be reading it so early in the year. And by early, I mean we're almost halfway through 2023. So like what better time to pick up this book? Um, I'm still terrified. I'm like shaking in my Gucci boots as we speak. Um, <laughs> I've just been so infinitely scared of this book. One, because I have to read it in Spanish. I did buy the English version when you know, when I thought that I could really just read a Spanish classic in its translation when I can very well understand its original form. And when I got the English version, I was like, oh my God, I'm finally going to read 100 Years of Solitude. Um, and my mom, <laughs> my mom was just like, are you really going to read that in English? And it's the silent language between mothers and daughters for me. Like it's the things that she doesn't say that I really heard when she said that. So <laughs> I like immediately hid this from anyone's sight. And you know, we don't even speak of this copy in my house anymore. It's just this one. This is the only one that exists. And yeah, if you've never heard me talk about this book before, I did try to read this bad boy a couple of years ago and I failed tremendously. I think I made it like maybe 30 pages or 40 pages 48 pages i made it 48 pages in and i gave up because there were just so many words i don't know what it is about gabriel garcia marquez but he like loves using words that i don't understand like at this point it feels like a personal attack obviously i know that it's not a personal attack this man doesn't know me this man can never know me but it just feels <laughs> like he purposefully chose words that i have never heard in my entire life in order to make me feel stupid <laughs> how do i explain this reading the spanish that gabriel garcia marquez uses makes me think that i don't know how to speak spanish <laughs> i grew up speaking spanish i am from the dominican republic i am from a spanish speaking country but this book makes me feel like i've never heard spanish in my life so yeah, this book should definitely come with a warning, but this time around I've come prepared because I'm not reading this alone. I'm actually reading this with two of my Patreons and I feel like we could do this. I think this is the second day that we're buddy reading this. We're supposed to be reading 
It's the second day and I'm already failing, but it's okay. I, this is a safe space. I know that they won't hate me if I fail on our second day, but basically we're supposed to be reading three chapters every day. And we set that goal before we knew how long these chapters are, like some chapters are 10 to 11 pages long. And you know, it's a hard life out here. <laughs> I'm currently in the middle of chapter three, so I'm not that behind, but I'm not also up to date. So for today, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of reading with this bad boy. Hopefully it's not as bad as yesterday's because yesterday I did really struggle. Even though I have already read these pages before, it just felt like, you know, getting back into the mindset of I am dumb, I am stupid, I don't know what's going on, like why does this man use such big words to describe the randomest of things and <laughs> yeah it's just it's gonna take me a while to get used to the writing style and to just you know let this story unfold and hopefully enjoy it but i'm not giving up i'm definitely going into this book with a more optimistic view of things especially now that i have buddy readers with me so i know that i'm not alone and yeah so it's finally happening who knows how long this is going to take me, but I am hopeful, I am optimistic, and that's honestly all that I can hope for at this point. But before I can read my three and a half chapters of Cien Años de Soledad, I need to finish um, an anime that I'm watching. Yes, this was actually recommended by one of you guys. When I asked you guys for shoujo recommendations, so many of you actually recommended Gamisama Kiss, and I've watched the first two episodes. I'm obsessed. I have been laughing. I've been giggling. I'm like already so invested in this story and these characters. And the plot is so interesting. It's basically about this random girl and she's going through it. You know, life low-key hates her. Her father abandons her. She loses her house. The bank takes ownership of her house. So now she's homeless. She's an orphan. And you know, things are just not going great for her when suddenly she stumbles across this god. And this particular god, he's low-key tired of being a god and having responsibilities. So he's just like, hey, you're, you're the god from now on. I don't want this anymore. I'm giving you my powers. Good luck. <laughs> and so now this random human girl has become the land god and she has this familiar who does, you know, everything that needs to be done and it's just a really interesting dynamic between them because her familiar or her servant low-key hates her because he's like i'm too powerful to be serving a helpless and weak and ugly girl such as yourself and it's just a very interesting dynamic it's really fun i can't wait to see where the story is going to go i also recently filmed an anime and k-drama wrap-up for my patreons because from now on i'm going to be doing monthly wrap-ups for all of the shows that I watch in a month. Let me tell you, I watched so many things in the month of April. I don't even know how I managed to read so many books and also watch like 10 K dramas and 10 animes. I really don't know. <laughs> like, I really don't know who I am outside of these shows. Basically at this point, my personality consists of little traits that I've picked up from all of the different characters that I love in all of the different stories that I devoured in the month of April. So I'm really excited to see who I am now. Like I really don't know. <laughs> the other reading update that I have for you guys, it's not actually reading, but it is related to reading. And it's the fact that I got a new Kindle case. Look at this, like I can't get over this. Um, I've had this for a couple of weeks now and the way that my reading productivity has skyrocketed just because every time that I see this cover I want to pick it up it just makes me really excited to hold this in my hands and just read on my kindle I'm well the last book that I was reading was Yona of the Dawn volume 30 and it's just like such a good time this was such an amazing investment it's honestly the little things in life like does this really add any value to my life does this really make my life easier you know 
In my eyes, it does because it makes me excited to pick up my Kindle and spend time with it reading books. And it also just makes me happy to have it around. And honestly, you know, life is too hard to not give yourself the little things that make you happy. So since this made me so happy, as soon as I saw it on like a random Etsy store, I was like, I need this and I'm going to get it because I deserve it. And so I did get it. Look, it's just, I am obsessed with it, your honor. I love it so very much. I've just been loving spending time with my Kindle. So yeah, I just, I wanted to share it with you guys because I love it so much. This is the inside. Look at it, fantastic, stunning, brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> I just love it. I love it, it gives me so much happiness. Now that I've talked to you guys about all of the books that I'm currently in the middle of, I thought you would like to join me in updating my series tracker list because I recently started a new book series and I haven't had the time to add it to my Notion. So, I mean, join me if you, if you like if you would like to see that. I actually haven't checked my series tracker in quite some time, so we might as well <laughs> go over it just real quickly. See, for example, I have read volume nine of Spy Family, so let's just update that real quick. The Celestial Kingdom Duology by Su Lin Tan is a recent addition because I recently read Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which was my April buddy read with my Patreons, and I enjoyed it so much. I'm definitely planning on reading the sequel this month, which is Heart of the Sun Warrior. I am so excited to see where the story is going to go. I really, really enjoyed the first book. And even though it was a little bit fast paced, like extremely fast paced, I'm still excited to see where the story is going to go and where these characters are going to end up. So I definitely had to add it to my current book series list because I am definitely going to be continuing. I have not read another volume of Attack on Titan in a very long time. I kind of miss it and I do have volume nine with me, but I feel like I've just been waiting for another readathon or like another Patreon reading sprint to tackle that bad boy, but I do miss it. So I might have to read it soon. Maybe I'll read it in May so that I can finally start season four and you know, the danger of being spoiled will no longer hang over me like a dark cloud. So maybe I should do that. <laughs> the newest addition to my book series tracker is going to be Heaven Official's Blessing. I recently read the first book in this series. I think it has a total of eight volumes. And yeah, I recently read volume one for a reading challenge and I actually really enjoyed it uh, more than I thought I would. It's become a very high priority series for me. I definitely want to get the rest of the volumes as soon as I can and read them as soon as I can. So let's just go ahead and add these because I'm definitely going to be reading them. Total books eight and I am currently on book one, yay. So the genre is fantasy BL. And I think I don't have any other series to update because I haven't really read another series. I've been starting a lot of new books, but most of them have been standalones. So yeah, I don't think, I think we're done here. <laughs> that was, I, uh, oh wait, have I added Chainsaw Man? I have not added Chainsaw Man. Disgusting. This is this is how behind I am on my book series tracker. Criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> I don't even know how many volumes this one is going to have though. I'll just put 15 for now and just see what happens. I'm on book 11 actually, thank you so much. That's all that I had to update on my tracker list. I am definitely feeling a lot better, a lot more relaxed. It's just this thing that's been nagging me at the back of my mind. And now that I finally got it done, I feel like, yes, I can relax. <laughs> now that I've done that, I think I'm going to go back to watching Gummy-sama Kiss. I promise I'm only going to watch the one episode and then I'm going to read Cien Años de Soledad. I am not going to force myself to read the three chapters. I'm just going to start reading and stop when I feel like it's getting a little bit too much. When I feel like it starts to feel like a chore instead of something that I'm actually enjoying. Hopefully I don't feel like it's a chore three pages into the story. So just fingers crossed. Send me your best vibes because I need them. <laughs>
I just finished filming a video and I am very, what's that word? Like the adrenaline is coursing through me, but it's also like, I'm really hyped up. I did have like a very, very big mug of coffee this morning. And I think that's it because I also had it on an empty stomach. So the caffeine just went like shooting straight up to my brain. I'm so sorry I'm all over the place. But the point is I just finished filming a video. The camera is all set up. I'm all glammed up as well. So I thought, why don't I film a little bit of an unboxing? All of these are a surprise. Honestly, I've been so good on my book buying ban because my physical TBR is getting just like a tiny bit out of control. I have so many books. I think you can see them because I'm about to do the, you know, choosing my TBR blindly challenge. And I don't know, like there's just, sorry, what am I even saying? The point is I've been so good on my book buying ban, but I got these boxes, these packages on the mail. I haven't bought any of them. This one is pretty obvious what it is. It's literally yellow face, but I already have the arc. So could this be like the hardcover edition? They didn't tell me this was coming. They didn't tell me that they sent this. It could be the hardcover edition, which would be insane because I've actually been thinking about getting like a final copy of yellow face. I loved that book. It's one of the best books that I read in 2023. So when I saw this on my P.O. box, I was like, huh, this cannot be real. But anyways, um, yeah, we have a couple of packages to open. So why don't we do this together? I hope you're having a lovely day and let's just see. Pretty familiar package because I have opened this before, but let's see. Oh my God, it's a hardcover. <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Wow, this really hasn't come out yet. This comes out May 16, 2023. You guys are going to be able to have this in your hands so soon. Should I? No. I was gonna, I was gonna say maybe I should pass the annotations that I did on the arc to this final, final thing, but I think, I don't know. I just want to keep it pristine. I currently have Priory of the Orange Tree on display on my yellow shelf. Maybe I should have yellow face. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so honored. I'm so, what's that word? Like my heart is filled with so much gratitude. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, gracias, gracias, mi amor. Que Dios te bendiga. That was such a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. I feel so loved. Okay, anyways, next up we have this package, which once again is a book. If this is a Penguin Classic. <laughs> My Penguin Classics collection is growing so beautifully. And I am so happy that so many of my viewers believe in me so much that they would send me along classics that they think I'm going to love. It's honestly such an honor that I've been receiving so many Penguin Classics and just like overall receiving so many wonderful gifts from you guys. But at the same time, like, I feel like you're overestimating my talents for classic literature because, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, you guys can see it first, of course, as always. This is a Penguin classic, isn't it? <laughs> is it a Penguin? Of course it's a Penguin classic. Um, do we want to guess what it is? It literally has nothing. Like, I can't, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what this is. Is it a Dostoevsky novel? Maybe? I don't... It's literally Dostoevsky! <laughs> I felt it in my heart. Like, I, you know, I was holding it. And I literally cannot see anything. I was just seeing, like, this white stripe. So that's how I knew it was a Penguin classic. But I was like, what could this be? And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's a Dostoevsky. And it's literally Dostoevsky! I personally identify with the title. I personally identify with the title of this book. I hope this idiot is a better reading experience for you. I'd love to buddy read this one day from Aileen. Aileen, my dudest of dudes, thank you so much for this. Uh, you will not believe me when I say this, but I was actually looking at the idiot yesterday. Like it's on my Amazon cart as we speak because I wanted to buy it along with another Dostoevsky novel, but I was like, no. I'm gonna book buying ban, I can't do this. I can't be doing this tomfoolery, like I need to stick to my book buying van. And here you are sending me the idiot. You are not an idiot, okay? Can you stop insulting yourself? I am not going to buddy read this with you if you're going to call yourself an idiot. There, I said it. Okay, but look at this. I'm like obsessed. 
I'm in love. <laughs> so I recently read The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky and it wasn't the experience that I wanted to have, but I'm still very grateful that I got to read it and that I got to experience it. Um, more thoughts on my April wrap up, but for now, The Idiots by Dostoevsky. He's simple-minded, but he has all his wits about him in the most noble sense of the word, of course. Okay, he soon finds himself cut up in a love triangle and drawn into a web of blackmail, betrayal, and finally murder! In Prince Mishkin, Dostoevsky portrays the purity of a truly beautiful soul and explores the perils that innocence and goodness face in a corrupt world. I'm so sorry, that sounds so good. I think my life is about to change. Just for the record, this smells better than the Brothers Karamazov. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Aileen, thank you so much. You are such a dude for this. I love you. In the floppiness meter, floppometer, in the floppometer, I'd give it a solid five. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty average flop. Um, I'm gonna stop flopping now. <laughs> Anyways, we do have one final package and I love the Disney box. It's beautiful, look, Pluto. Aww. It does say who it's from and it does have like a description of the things that are inside, but I did not read it because I wanted it to be a surprise. But apparently this is from Germany because it says Deutsch Post. <laughs> I probably butchered that, but it does, you know, it's giving German. <laughs> I did spend a whole month in Germany, so you'd think I'd be like a tiny bit familiar with German texts. I destroyed the box, let the record show. I'm not a good box opener, but this is what we're working on. I don't know what this says. I don't, I don't know if it's because I can't read the font or if it's just not in a language that I understand, but I can't read this, but that doesn't matter because I can read what's inside. If cats disappeared from the world, I actually saw this on my trip to Taiwan and I was so tempted to buy a copy for myself because it just looks beautiful. This is written by Genki Kawamura. Over 1 million copies sold in Japan. Look at this little cat though. Like, don't you just want to hug him or her? What would you sacrifice for an extra day of life? The devil picked that moment to announce in his usual cheerful manner the next item he'd make disappear. I couldn't think about anything anymore, so I said yes, just like that. At that point, the thought that it could happen to my cat cabbage had never crossed my mind. Oh no! <laughs> if cats disappeared from the world is a beautifully moving tale of loss and reconciliation, of one man's journey to discover what really matters in modern life. Okay, why am I already obsessed with this book? Hi Bella! Sam from Germany. Hi! Hi Sam! This is a little appreciation package because you're one of my comfort books. <laughs> Every time I watch your videos, it feels like a warm hug. Also, I'm glad you love reading classics because I also love classics and I thought it would be fun to send you a German classic. Oh, there's another book. Oh, stop. I read it years back at school because it's mandatory and I loved it. The other book I sent to you because I'm sure you will love it and I'd love to hear your opinion on both of them. Also, have fun with the little stuff. Have fun and happy reading. Aww. Sam. Sam, <laughs> I love you, Sam. I think I'm gonna put this in my wall. Sam, everybody give it up for Sam. The next thing that I see is a bookmark. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. This is literally Christmas. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Every day is Christmas when I'm with you guys. <laughs> so basically this is like a bookmark with elastic band. So, Jane Austen, I'm sorry. If a book is well written, I always find it too short. And then here is Jane Austen. I better them. I feel like I'm saying sorry a lot today. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this is adorable. I'm gonna say something in German. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Vanny, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Dankeschön. Dank Dankeschön. Sam did mention that there is a German classic in here. So, this is it. What is this? Ooh. <gasps> no, you're kidding! No, oh my god, okay, you won't believe me. You won't believe- I swear you won't believe me. I've been wanting to read this book for so long. I saw the movie like 10 years ago. It has haunted me ever since. It's like, 
I didn't know what the story was about when I started the movie and then when things started to go down I'm like, excuse me, how is this happening? And it was recently that I actually found out it's like an actual book, like the movie came from the book and now Sam went ahead and sent me a copy. This gorgeous copy, by the way. Like, oh my God. Okay, can we take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this cover? This is Perfume, the story of a murderer. Witty, stylish, and ferociously absorbing by Patrick Suskind. Suskind? A fantastic tale of murder and twisted eroticism controlled by a disgusted loathing of humanity. Clever, stylish, absorbing, and well worth reading. A remarkable debut, holy cow. Imagine the first book you ever write turns into a classic. Boy boss move. <laughs> I'm so sorry, wait, okay. I think there's one more thing. There's two more things. I'm so sorry, but how? Espérate, espérate, concéntrate. Digo, focus. Please look, it's a pe it's a pen, I'm guessing. Like the head of a little cat. I'm sobbing. And then it says be curious. I'm sorry, but isn't this the best thing that you've seen today? I am. But then here, I think ¿qué es esto? Oh, is this like an er wait, can you erase? Oh my god! It's an eraser for the pen. Perfection. Perfection. I do me. Wow. Okay. But then we also have one more thing. Oh my god, we have two more things. Stop! Oh my goodness. There's a Jujutsu Kaisen. Stop. This is Rika. Ay, espérate. This is Rika. She is Yuta's childhood friend. If you've seen the movie or if you've read volume zero, you may recognize her. And now I have a keychain of her. I'm sad. Oh my goodness. Sam! <laughs> okay, the last thing. Okay, this is the last thing here. These are pastel highlighters. Shut up. Okay. Teddy's style six mini highlighters. Look! <laughs> this is so cute. Sam, I'm so sorry, but you are now officially on my top 10 list of favorite people of the year. I don't like this, has made me so beautifully happy and so warm and fuzzy and cozy and just rainbows and everything sugary and everything happy and everything sunshine is currently inside of my heart and it's all thanks to you. Oh my God, thank you so much for taking the time to make this care package and just thank you so much for thinking of me and wanting to make me happy. You made my absolute month. It's honestly a memory that I'm gonna go look back on whenever I'm going through it. So thank you so much. Thank you for the bookmark. Thank you for the books. Thank you for the keychain. Thank you for the highlighters. Oh my God. Thank you for the cute pen that matches the book. Like, come on now. And also, of course, thank you, Aileen. I don't know. Today, today, today is a good day. Today is my favorite day. I want to trash my whole TBR. I want to trash my whole currently reading list and just read. Oh, I better them and just read these three books. I need a second to like let this sink in because yeah, wow, just wow. <laughs>
Okay, so <laughs> you know when you are just staring off into space but then you realize that you're actually looking at something and then you're like hyper fixating on this one thing. And well, that is what happened to me and my classics shelf, which is up there. I was just looking at it very intently and I was like, what if I organized, <laughs> what if I organized it by publication date? And it took me around like 20 minutes just like researching when every book came out but I don't know, there's just something about how the height differences are like all over the place and some books are where I would have never thought to put them before or like next to books that make no sense. There's just something about the chaos of it that I'm really drawn to, so... <laughs> This may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I really wanted to show it to you guys because I actually really enjoy how it came out and I don't know, there's just something... <laughs> it looks very chaotic, I will admit that, but there's just something about, you know, chaos being beautiful. The oldest book that I own apparently is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I think this was published in 1818. I could be wrong, I could have already forgotten the date of when it came out. Okay, so Pride and Prejudice came out in 1813. There we go. I do have Sense and Sensibility, but it's not on this shelf. So technically, Pride and Prejudice is the oldest book on this shelf. And look at War and Peace in the middle, where she deserves to be. War and Peace is next to the Brothers Karamazov, which I'm not a fan of, but alas, we move on. Um, I do love that Crime and Punishment is like easy access, you know? I am sad that The Count of Monte Cristo, like I need to get through all of these books just to pull out The Count of Monte Cristo because I love flipping through that book. It brings me so much happiness, but alas, we make sacrifices. I don't know, there's just something about the spines and the order, like it looks so disorganized, but the fact that it is organized, I just love it. And I love seeing like the different additions together. I don't know, <laughs> I really just wanted to show it to you guys. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if this is absolute bonkers. Um, let me know if there are any other tips. Actually, this is a great time to ask you guys for tips on organizing my shelves because I have gotten it to a point where all of the books that I own fit or like they fit as long as I have these books here and then I have the other books in my room, but they do fit. And I've started using the shelves on top as well. Like these are all of my red book of the month books. And then these are, you know, for another reading challenge. And then this is like a Studio Ghibli shelf. I don't know, it's a good time. I'm having fun with my shelves. I did get the organized by publication date idea from one of you guys. So if you have any other ideas on how I could organize my books and my shelves, please let me know down below because I actually had a lot of fun doing my classics shelf. So yes, I am open to suggestions. I would love to hear your thoughts and your ideas down below. So yes, um, that's it for this quick little update. I love you all so much. I hope you're enjoying the vlog and goodbye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm about to do some Patreon reading sprints and I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be reading. Yes, Cien Años de Soledad and Attack on Titan Omnibus version number nine. There we go, volumes 25, 26, 27. I will come back to you with some updates because it's literally showtime girls so <laughs> we'll talk later but yes bye bye
that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not gonna think about it too much. But what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just like the little snippets that I get to see. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Hi, I am currently doing some Patreon reading sprints and I am excited because I have finally reached. Oh my god. I reached page 100 of Cien Años de Soledad and the first time that I tried to read this a couple of years back, like over five years ago, I only made it to page 48. And now look at me, page 100. Um, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of scared <laughs> because there's like this certain way that Gabriel Garcia Marquez writes the women of this story that I'm not really vibing with. It's not great, you know, like the... The female characters in this book are not giving and it's not because they're bad characters it's just that for some reason Gabriel Garcia Marquez has decided to just give them the worst life possible and to just constantly abuse them for no reason and there's an awful lot of sex involved in this book for some reason like there's just there's like underage marriages and you know i do get it to a certain extent because this is like the beginning i don't even know how to explain it it's like the beginning of civilization so you know there's not really like this concept of that being wrong but at the same time, it's like, how can you not see that this is wrong? One of the characters, he is dead set on marrying a baby, like a nine-year-old baby. The father of this nine-year-old girl is like, I have six other daughters that are of age. They've been through puberty and they are more than okay with marrying you. And you have to go for the one that still pees her bed. And it's just like, how do people not understand? That this is wrong and then the people are joking like oh before you marry her you're gonna have to raise her ha 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 and i'm just like very uncomfortable by the progression of this story i actually don't even know what the story is about yet because we're basically following this family the buendia family and they live in this village that's called macondo like in this timeline they don't even know that the world is round so it's like really truly the beginning of civilization and they discovered ice, they discovered a compass, they discovered magnets, like it's just the discovery of humanity in a way and just like, I don't know, I'm still unsure as to where the story is going, I'm still of course interested in continuing and I'm just inspired by my buddy readers because just knowing that they're waiting for me at the end of these chapters is like, I have to do this for them. So I'm definitely glad. I am so happy that I decided to buddy read this this time around because it's just, you know, that extra push, that extra motivation to read this, it really helps me out. So I'm excited that I finally reached page 100, even though I'm still not sure where the story is going or if I even like the story, but the writing, it's gotten a little bit easier. And I think it's because whenever I don't understand or whenever I feel like I didn't fully grasp what the author was trying to say, I go ahead and pick up the English version and I read it. Whenever I struggle with understanding a certain part or a certain paragraph, I rely on my English edition. So even though I'm not reading this in English, I'm still happy that I have this edition because it's kind of like a safety cushion. Whenever I'm feeling a little bit confused, I can just, you know, look for this edition, just look for the chapter, look for the paragraph that I'm on, and I can just be safe and I can just be rest assured that I'm understanding the story and I'm actually like getting it. So yeah. I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm proud of myself. The good vibes that you guys have been sending me have definitely arrived safe and sound. I still need to read two more chapters to reach my daily goal, but after I do that, because I still have a couple more reading sprints to do, so after I reach my daily goal, I think I'm going to finally read Attack and Titan Volume 9. This is the omnibus version. I am completely obsessed with this. I officially know nothing of what this volume contains. I have no idea where the story is going to go. I have no idea who lives, who dies. Yeah, I have no idea what's about to happen. I don't even know if Eren makes it out alive. I don't even know if 
Levi makes it out alive. I don't even know if Mikasa makes it out alive. It's just a lot of questions that I need the answers to and I'm finally going to be getting them. So when I read the last two chapters that I have left of 100 Years of Solitude, I'm going to reward myself by reading Attack on Titan. So I am so happy. I've been having such a great day. I will be honest, before the reading sprints, I wasn't actually in a reading mood. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to read? Like I really didn't want to read, but seeing everybody so motivated and so excited and just reading together and just, you know, sharing our goals and the things that we wanted to accomplish, it made me really inspired to read. So once again, I am so, so grateful for these reading sprints and for my Patreons. Patreons, if you're watching, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. You are single-handedly keeping my reading mood alive, so yes. I'm gonna go back to reading now because I really wanna read those last two chapters just so that I can start Attack on Titan. I currently have a Minecraft fireplace in the background. We have 11 minutes to go of this sprint, so I need to get back to reading soon. But I also just wanted to show you like this cute little to-do list that I always do on my reading sprints and it's just like a collection of all the goals from different people and the things that we want to achieve so yes somebody speaking of Zoro <laughs> why is somebody talking about Zoro <laughs> it is so hard for me to not just drop everything and start watching one piece but anyways yes I am going to go back to reading now um I'm excited. Welcome to a few hours later. I have finished the reading sprints and I feel so good. Like I already talked about this with my Patreons a little bit, but I was just not feeling motivated to read at all. When I filmed my April wrap up, I was like, I am so done with books. All I want to do right now is just watch One Piece. <laughs> like the way, okay, listen, this is not an exaggeration. I'm not being dramatic. This is my truth. One Piece has taken over my life. I don't I don't know how to comprehend this because the fact that I was so intimidated by it and the fact that I was so sure that I was never going to watch a single episode of One Piece and now I'm in episode 50 and I have Zoro Funko Pops on my cart and it's like <laughs> I'm truly living my best life and I didn't know how much I was missing until I started One Piece and it's it's like insane how much it has taken over my life but i'm so happy i just don't, don't even get me started and the way that some of you have said that you know the first few seasons are really good but it starts to get insanely good the further on you go through the story i, I can't even wait because if i'm loving it so much already imagine Imagine when I get up to date. I can't. It's a long road ahead, but I am so excited to just watch more episodes and meet new characters. I already have so many favorites. I literally cannot choose. But yes, One Piece has slowly, well actually not, not slowly. This has probably been the fastest that I've become obsessed with an anime and a manga in general. Yeah, I'm just so surprised by how quickly One Piece became my entire personality. <laughs> so yes, anyways, what I was saying is, I was lacking the reading motivation, but thanks to these reading sprints, I think we read for like three hours and a half, um, I actually read quite a lot and I actually had fun, which like blows my mind because I've been dreading reading books ever since the month started and now here I am living my best life. So yes, let me update you guys one last time. I don't know if I should do like a separate video for this because I don't know. I have things to think about with this book, but I have officially made it to page 136. I had to stop in the middle of a chapter, but I'm four pages away from finishing chapter six. So I don't know. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm feeling pretty powerful. And I'm just really happy. The story is definitely taking shape. Again, I'm just so surprised by the amount of sexual activity that is described in this book. Um, yeah, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very explicit story. There are definitely other elements, like there's a war going on between the conservatives and the liberals at the moment. And this, this family that the story is based on, like the Wendia family, 
they are falling apart. Like they are just losing members left and right, either to war or because they belong to different groups or they have different beliefs or they marry their sister. <laughs> Yeah, this family is honestly just going through it and it's pretty interesting to read about. I'm so happy that I have this book just to like, knowing that I have it there and that if at any point in time I feel confused by what's going on, I can just go ahead and pick this one up. I feel safe. <laughs> It's definitely a unique reading experience. I've never done something like this before where I have the same book in different languages and I'm sort of reading them together. I don't know, but it's working, so I'm not gonna question it too much. And then I also started, I am so excited for this. I also started Attack on Titan. This is what I read. I didn't want to spend too much time reading this because I did want to make some progress on 100 years. I read this amount. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue reading it later on tonight because I really just want to watch my anime. I really want to finish Kami-sama Kiss. I am in episode 10. So I only have four episodes to go until I finish the season. I need to do it. I need to finish Kami-sama Kiss. And then maybe tomorrow I can continue reading Attack on Titan. There have already been some incredibly beautiful panels full of death and violence. Actually, yeah, there's definitely a lot of death in the first few pages of this book, which I live for. It's such a better turnout than volume eight. Like I'm already loving this one so much more than I did volume eight. So I'm not complaining. Give me more death, give me more violence, as long as it's not the death of one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I feel like that's too much to ask for at this point, but hey, yeah, I just, sure. Like, probably the people that are up to date, they're laughing right now seeing this. If you know who my favorite characters are, please don't say anything in the comments. Let me live in this fantasy. Let me live in my delusion, okay? I'm happy here. Don't take me out of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to be ending this reading vlog here. I feel like we've done quite a lot of things in this reading vlog. I showed you my new bookshelves. I read a couple of books. I updated my series tracker. I updated you guys on life in general. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. It feels kind of weird doing reading vlogs again because I haven't done one in so long, but I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you had a good time, if you're still here, of course. I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment it really helps my channel out and it helps me stay motivated to make more videos for you guys i also have a patreon where i post exclusive content i host reading sprints monthly book clubs and i also do readathons like 24 hour ones and maybe sometimes even 48 hour ones against my better judgment so if that's something that you'd be interested in the link is down below as always i would love to have you join my army of premium simpers once again thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye hey jimmy you nice keep going